A co-worker of Angela's bought her this mug for her birthday because she's known not to take any. But Angela's very responsible, so she's like, I can't bring this to work. Even though, even though they really want her to. <laughs> I just um I just want to preface the the next part of this video maybe even just like the rest of this video with yes I know if you look up the definition of hypocrite in the dictionary you will find a photo of me beside it I know that you don't you don't have to bring it up in the comments I know right so um in this box this box um is a fat bike something Something I know I said I had zero interest in whatsoever. The reason that a fat bike doesn't really tickle my fancy comes down to the first time that I rode one, uh, I could not believe the amount of effort that had to go into it to like get it moving on the road. I was like, holy. And then immediate disappointment when I got to uh, a spot where there was snow, you, you still sink in. You need to be riding something groomed. And that realization to me was like, oh. It doesn't really float like I thought it would. This one's electric. See? Full disclosure, they sent it. I'm gonna do my absolute best to actually try and keep the shop relatively clean as I unbox a bike. I'm gonna change that. <laughs> That's the thumbnail. Okay, I get, like, I know why this adjustable, this is an adjustable stem. I, uh, I get why this adjustable stem is on here, but, uh, I can't, I just can't bring myself to have it on something I'm gonna ride, so. <laughs> Defender's probably a pretty good selling feature for most, but, uh, I kind of prefer the look without it. It comes with a front fender as well. I didn't put it on. Well. Okay, uh, first thing, first thing that I'm noticing, this thing is big. This is a big bike, it's tall. It's taller than most bikes that I would normally ride. Two, it definitely has some nicer things over the, uh, the Ranger R1 that I have been using, that I have been hauling the BMX on. Notably, the crank set, the chain ring, the pedals, uh, all much nicer out of the box. This is a 750 watt motor where the Ranger is a 500 watt. Um, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be like a pretty noticeable difference. The LCD screen, it's nicer on this. This has an integrated battery. It's the same size battery. This just has one amp hour more uh, rating. But I don't know what that means. So like, don't ask me about it. Shit. Mm. And I don't love this. I wish this was different on each of the turbo amp bikes I have, then I would kind of consider them like very, ugh. but each of them use a freewheel style uh, e-bike hub motor. And I don't like that it uses a thread on freewheel. That makes it way more difficult to upgrade the drivetrain because each of these come with uh, seven speed Shimano Torni. It works fine, but it's just like one of those things that you might have the desire to uh, to change out and having ugh, having a freewheel on there makes that so much more difficult. The bearing ends up sitting so much further in the hub and leaves all that axle exposed. <coughs> okay, pretty typical almost daily vlog oversight. Uh, I built an e-bike expecting to be able to uh, to like ride it pretty fully in one day, uh, not taking into consideration that it should be charged. I'm gonna assume there's enough here out of the box to go do the, uh, the like quarry climb. Let's at least go do that. Oh, I really hope the battery doesn't die. This thing would suck to have to pedal back. And then you can see we come from down there all the way up here. Okay, ready? Yep, 
Yeah, so the big tires and the extra 250 watts without a BMX on the back, very, very noticeable difference. See the way I have this perched up here? Okay, you up this. Admittedly, admittedly, I sort of hate how much fun I'm having with this right now, purely due to the hypocrisy. It's so fun. It's like, oh, it's like right there. It's like right on the edge of owning an electric dirt bike or like a shitty motorcycle. <sighs> I'm really, I'm pushing it though. There's like, this was down to nothing. I turned it off, turned it back on. I've gone 4.2 miles. And that like, there's still so much left in the day. What, what do you do? What do you do when you're such a poor time planner? It died. It died. I knew this was a, I knew this was a possibility, but I thought I could get away with it. It's so heavy. It's very heavy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Initial thoughts. Initial thoughts are I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed in my lack of planning. Uh, I really, I wish I had that this more church. I could just do laps around that place for days. This is so fun. But it looks like everybody's going to ride BMX. That seems like a good way to end the day. Yo. Hi. Oh, that's a good way to show up. I got that whole thing, start to finish. So, <laughs> you did it. That looks really funny. That was pretty good. This is new. You want a porter? I'll oh, give it a try. Not released yet, pal. Never ever has ever been released. Oh, we took it away, but it's coming back. You're the first one to try it. Good soup. You know, nosy ET, a fake Emmanuel, and I'm gonna do a crank flip out. Okay. There you go. There you go. Did it. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That was sick. time <laughs> just in the nick of battery life so little battery life left Damn.